Hey everybody, it's J Jam Jim. Welcome back to another episode of our RimWorld survival series. Um, and uh, everything is great. Everything is peachy keen. So, so I was doing some of that. Okay, so Kambaro, we're gonna be getting Kambaro very, very soon. 2.5 resistance on Kambaro. That's excellent. That will get us uh, back up to six colonists which you know will be desperately needed we're getting helmets for everybody jimet i don't even remember what you were wielding is it still out here because you were attacking yeah um so you're back up but did you get an infection no what is what is on here an awful bow i guess you can just take this poor sharp bow yeah you're making us helmets it's a poor helmet. I don't think you're very good at crafting. Yeah, you're not. Uh, is Kambaro? No. Who? Eclipse. Okay. Oh, we never set up 13's schedule. Uh, I don't even remember what 13 does. What do you do for us? You're our best crafter. Ouch. Kind of forgot about that. Mmm, that's pleasant. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, okay. Well, again, yeah, I, I think I maybe mentioned in the last episode, like, we'll have to get 13. We're gonna have to get her to, like, I don't know, make us a bunch of crap and then sell it, because, yeah. Mm, that's rough. I feel like usually by the time you have six pawns, at least maybe someone's good at crafting. So definitely that's we're gonna be on the lookout on that for colonist number seven, because crafting is quite increasingly getting in more and more important like exponentially more important um as the colony progresses you really really do want a good crafter a, a dedicated crafter at least one quite honestly uh two would be ideal but i guess for now 13 is the person um okay well you can just i guess i could stagger your schedule why don't I have you sleep? Yeah, whatever. It's fine. You can just do that. Okay, you're going to make some jackets and things. I mean, poor helmet is still better than no helmets. Mole. Pants, yeah. So eventually you'll be able to have, like, actual clothing. I'm going to start keeping this probably on two speed a little bit more. Especially considering we have more and more colonists now. Um, okay, so 13's in this room. That's a really, really nice room, actually. We do need to focus on bedrooms. That's a big... That is a big, big thing we need. Uh, Cummings is researching. Continue. What are we researching currently? We research gunsmithing. We should start making ourselves some weapons. Which we have in the queue. After we make the helmets... Maybe you'll make this one better? No, it's still poor. Okay. Jamet, why don't you equip that Sherpo for now so we get you a better gun? You're going to make us some jackets. I mean, that's fine. We can we can sell, you know, the, the awful things that she makes. We can sell those. But yeah, bedrooms are definitely... What are we using now? Marble? And marble is pretty, so. Uh, let's go. Is this as far back as we can go? No, we can actually keep. We can actually keep mining this. Let's let's push back another layer here. I, I think now we're gonna start to get right up against butt up against the uh, ancient danger. Which uh, you know. So, actually, you know what we could do with the Ancient Danger? We could... So, there's a cheeky little trick. And... But what's happening... Uh, I feel like the trick used to work. And now in 1.4, I'm not sure it works anymore. I have tested it a few times just on, like, drops. Sometimes it works. Sometimes it works. And sometimes it doesn't. I don't know if it's difficulty-related... 
I don't know. I don't understand. Um, but I've had mixed results. So, but anyway, the cheeky thing is you can build a door here. And what you can do is you can open up this piece of wall. If you build the door here, you can open up this piece of wall. This will still technically be enclosed, but you'll be able to see what's going on inside of it. Run, obviously, as soon as you do that, close the door. Now, what's been happening is I have had, generally, if the if there's mechs, it's generally mechs who are inside. Uh, mechs, maybe some insects. A lot of times the insects come out with the crypto sleep caskets, but what I've been having mixed results is the mechs will sometimes aggro and destroy the door and then immediately come after you. And then other times they don't. However, we are very, very close. We have this entrance here and usually, I mean, I don't know. It, it, it can be a crapshoot. Who knows how many mechs are inside here? If we do this, we're kind of risking it for the biscuit type of thing. I don't know. I don't know if it's worth it quite yet. Uh, it could give us some really good weapons. If we open the crypto sleep caskets, we also have the opportunity to potentially, you know, get a couple more colonists. Maybe get some really good armor from some of those colonists. But it's it truly... It's been a while since I opened a... Uh, ancient danger on losing his fun so okay we got blowback operation let's do man flak armor is gonna be really really nice the the problem is i don't have anybody to craft it appropriately black armor also takes a lot of plasteel which we don't really have a lot of yet um and it, it takes a lot of components um so it might be nice though to get to precision rifling so we can get some like sniper rifles and assault rifles. <sighs> we can also unlock chain shotguns, which will be really, really nice um, for this kill box. I've also considered, so uh, over on Twitch, we've been doing an, a, a, a new stream um we're doing a new research run over on twitch and actually i've done a no research run here on youtube um we're playing on a little bit lower of a difficulty playing with some quality of life mods but i've been checking out the singularity which is a new not, not new it's it's a it's a kill box that's been around for a little while and i've considered uh i've I'm gonna start to work on it over there on the stream and i'm considering uh, now that I've been doing a little bit more research into it, I'm considering using it here as well um, because it is really effective. And I think it could be a really good move for us to do. Um, so if we do that, chain shotguns, assault rifles are really, really good weapons to have uh, in that regard. And it's just a really, really powerful kill box. It's not going to save us from everything. It's not going to save us from breach raids. Not necessarily, it's not going to save us from drop pods, that sort of thing. Um, but the basic raids and things, uh, it can clean up. So, might be something we consider. Um, but just because we are playing on such an uh, intense difficulty, I don't know. I'm still mulling that one over. I'm, I'm getting, I'm leaning closer to actually doing it than not. And if we do, I will link a description, um regarding how to build it and all that kind of stuff down below. Um, yeah. Unsure yet. But it might be nice to... I don't know. There's so many decisions. Every Everything you do in RimWorld, it's, it's a little decision that uh, could impact the entire colony, um, especially on higher difficulties. Also, I just did a lot of talking. Okay, we never set up a thing. Uh, let's just do gas operation. Let's go for it. Guns are going to be what saves us. So, let's get better weapons. And then we'll get the armor and, I don't know, figure out our armor situation at some point. I think I'm going to keep pushing down with this. I'm assuming none of this is going to be deep mountain. 
there's going to be pockets inside of the ancient danger that will be deep mountain but yeah so none of this we can keep pushing back here i don't think any of this will be deep mountain mole's doing a great job get smooth oh some of this is i take it back i take it back some of it outside so this this probably little pocket here is gonna be a deep mountain maybe a little bit more over here okay <clears throat> hmm, good to know uh jimette how are we doing jimette's also obviously you know a mess because dennis is dead and all that good stuff you're at point one resistance getting Combaro, you know it's another ah, these are such great traits i mean just the traits alone not skilled at a lot of stuff per se but can research we do have two research benches now wouldn't it wouldn't hurt have more people doing research 13 is making another jacket are you getting better at this kind of wait are you a slow learner no you're sickly Ugh. okay let's keep an eye on our meals i will pop this back up to three speed for a minute 13 is making us more blocks that's fair <clears throat> we're starting to get some clothing now so we don't have tattered apparel things heal root that's lovely oh we still have to get another alpaca also muffalos could be good they're close by to hmm do we have another uh no we don't okay so what if we they eat so much we'd have to make this bigger although we could make this pen for them males okay there is a female why don't we tame these oh they require five cummings only has a four rip okay well okay yeah we'll get some really nice bedrooms in here now from all this we're gonna want to smooth all of this flooring which I know is sort of nutty, kind of a pain, but really going to be nice. Does help our construction skill, all that jazz. We'll get rid of all this steel at some point and replace it with walls as well. I'm kind of like using it right now as a little bit of like a backup in case we need some inside the base. Same kind of deal with this as well. Uh, Jemet's having a tantrum. Okay, so she's not going to destroy anything specific. She's just going to kind of go around smashing things. That's actually okay. Uh, we do have, yeah, so we have the re-auto rebuild. That's a really nice thing. This automatically comes toggled off, uh, but it is really a nice feature to have. Even if you don't want to necessarily replace something that's destroyed, it's really nice to know at least what was there. Uh, really, really nice thing to have, um, like, checked, in my opinion. <clears throat> that's fine. She's at least not destroying, you know, like... 15 glitter world or something there you go now you get a little catharsis from that serious pain still from the yeah of course you were the one that got attacked by the warg too somewhat impressive hospital that's actually pretty good i mean i guess the flooring and everything is is good plus this large stellies here we are going to want to get more people doing art, but this is the value of having a good room. Like, it might seem small, but just, like, somewhat impressive dining room. Four, plus four, plus two. She's comfortable. Like, those those tiny numbers, they add up and can be 
There we go. The difference between life and death, basically. Okay. Kambaro is in the colony. We're going to have to set up Kambaro's uh, stuff. You're also really good at research, so that's fabulous. You will firefight. You are also a passionate doctor. You're not great at it, but you're passionate, so that's very cool. Um, I'll keep Jamet. Uh, yeah, well, hmm. actually, no. I'm gonna put you back as a four. You're a backup doctor if we need it. But now that we have Kambaro, I think having two and then we'll keep the ones that have passion so they get you know level up a little bit faster you're also a good warden we have tons of double passion good wardens a lot of social people here that's nice but um could do for some crafting tomorrow you are a shootist yes uh why don't you for now equip that bow that's all we got uh you will now hunt. I'm gonna arrange you a little bit better here. Yeah. Huh. Starting to get some good shooters though. That's that's great. That's really, really good. What else? Kambaro, construct, grow. You know, I'm just gonna say no to all of these things. You're a four at crafting, which is the same. Gosh, honestly, why don't you just be a dedicated researcher? For now. Like, we could we could have you craft some stuff in the future. Well, hmm. <sighs> okay. The other thing is, you're also... 13 is a cook. Does grow as well. Could be our artist. And then we can have Kambaro do this stuff. Yeah? Why don't you do this? You can art craft. If there's crafting to be done, do that. I don't know. Not sure about that one, but that's very interesting. Okay. Uh, and we have someone else. I guess you could also clean for now. Hmm, wait, someone else cleaning? Mole, are you cleaning? That's Sayo. Sayo is kind of our cleaner. Also our cook, though. Mm, I don't know. I might mess around with that later. Do you have a dedicated artist? I don't like having a crafter who can also research, but that's kind of the way it is. I don't think we have enough power. Oh, Kamaro, your schedule. Let's do... Why don't you be on the opposite schedule. Uh, well. <sighs> mm -hmm. Why don't you be on the opposite schedule of... Uh, Cummings. Don't really know why. But why don't you take Jamet's? Uh, actually, no. Why don't you take 13's schedule? You and 13 can be on the same schedule. That's fine. You also don't have a bed. I'm gonna get rid of that. This, I guess, will be your bed. You don't, don't have a prisoner room at the moment? Another mouth to feed. Tomorrow. Oh, there's no wood. 
Yeah, we gotta get we have to get better generators. Like we need to we need to start kinda working our way quickly toward um geothermal. Also don't know if we have the resources currently. Oh, we might actually have the resources to make a thing. We just don't have the power for this. Oh, my grizzly bear is taking out. Okay. That's not bad. Let's haul that in. Hook it up. Get some meat. Who's our cook? Sayo and 13. Doing a meal. Will you now go? Why don't you? Okay. I think you need to be a one. Top priority for you. Mole, you're very good at construction. This should be pretty quick for you to do. Quick work. They're still making us helmets. Everybody should have a helmet now. Vet's still healing from this? Gross. I know it's taking a while, but I think it'll be alright. Vet's getting on the action there. Yeah, it's just a just a constant trying to keep these refueled. Oh, you must have made a better helmet. Minor break risk Cummings. What's the matter with you? My friend Dennis died. My friend Lion died. Who the heck is Lion? Slept in the heat, disturbed sleep. Yeah, it's because you sleep in the main room. That's the problem there. Okay, my friend Dennis died. That's, that's done in nine days. Which would be good. And we got two people burning through research right now, which is awesome. Really speeds things up. Even just when it's, even just for a little bit too, you know? Doesn't have to be constant, but we're gonna get this harvest in a great, great time. Yep, that's awesome. Oh, you're oh, interesting. You scrapped some metal. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Things are cooking. Another transport pod crash. Oranges from your enemy. Crouch you packed. Orange. Female 50. Has a bite scar on your left leg, but it's not causing you pain. These are just cracks from the fall. Ascetic kind. Incapable of carrying 11 and crafting. Oh my goodness. The Rimworld gods. We're going to get punished for this later. We're going to get punished for it later, but for right now, no heckin' way. Is she? Tell me she's not. Oh my goodness gracious. What? What? Okay. Um. Okay. Come borrow. Uh, come out here and. Ca uh, nope. We don't have a room. Okay. We're going to. This is your room now. Come borrow. Come over here. Capture orange. Stop. There's no way. No shot. No shot. How hard are you to recruit? 15? Oh my god. Are you kidding? What? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get tended. Do all the things. Holy crap. There, you can sleep in that bed now. What in the world? Okay. That. 
that changes a lot of things. Um, that changes a lot of things. So I don't even know if you can make these guns because you're probably not good at it. Yeah, you need a crafting seal of five. Okay. That's fine. We're going to just... You can continue to make jackets and dusters and things, but I want orange making those weapons, which it holds off making weapons a little bit longer than possible we'd like, but we we have some. I mean, we have, have a couple guns. We have enough people. I feel fairly confident we could we could take on a uh, raid. We're also getting, like, we're going to get dusters and stuff at some point with some more of this cloth, hopefully. Um, why do you have so many toques? Okay, we don't need to make any more toques. We have a million of them. I'm not really certain why. Goodness gracious. Orange. Join us, my friend. Plus ascetic and kind. I and mean, they can't they can't medical, but that's okay. We have other doctors. They're not really good at they can plant work. They're also a good fighter. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, we're we're gonna get smacked. Cass is gonna is like, oh, do you think do you think things are going well, Jim? Do you think do you think things are going well? Are you happy? Yeah. Eat it. She's gonna she's gonna hit us with something. It's just gonna we're gonna get roasted. That's what's gonna end up happening. I can feel it. I can feel it in my bones. I can feel it in my bones. I think this is too big of an area to roof. So, what I'm going to do is build out a... Oh, do I want them that big? One, two, three, that's four. I guess. It's actually not that big. But, like, we could do a that size bedroom. This is five by four. Yeah. Like that. Not that many. Uh, we could move this. We could kind of jimmy in another little bedroom in here. Uh, or we make them a little bit flatter and longer. I mean, honestly, this, this whole area will probably end up moving. And we might readjust. Hmm, I don't know. We, we need to get we need to get some people i think it'll be valuable to get some people in bedrooms so why don't we do this for now this is gonna be a little bit bigger of a room but at least then we can roof this up get some folks in a bedroom we have an aesthetic uh wait where is this nice we have an aesthetic too, or uh, orange is going to be an aesthetic. So that's not going to be, they won't need a really great bedroom. Honestly, we could probably just give them this little like nubbin right here as a room. And call it kind of good, you know? We're going to have to move all this storage at some point. Uh, I'm going to want vents in here and here. Because we'll want to like make sure we can cool all this down and whatnot. Oh my gosh, we're getting meals, we're getting food. Do a little bit of steel. Let's get some lights in here. Let's get dressers. Let's get end tables. This is as far as Kambaro can go. <clears throat> we'll smooth all that. Just so, just so they have it. It's a normal wooden dresser. I don't even know. We should probably have Jamet. Well, she's got a pretty... She's got an okay room. It's small, though. Jamet is still doing okay. We got 18 days left. We're, you know... Seven days left. This will be nice to get rid of. This minus seven, or uh, this minus ten for seven days. That'll be nice to get rid of. Also, thank goodness for her optimism. Otherwise, that would be a disaster. Uh, we're gonna need to bring power in. We we just need better power. 
Um, yeah. I'm gonna do this for now in the idea and the thought that there will be a wall here at some point. So, uh, we need, we need to mine more steel, I think. Where were we mining steel these days? Some, there's a big pocket over there. I think it was down here. Ah, yes. Yes, down here. I'm just gonna avoid the deep mountain for now, but okay. Wow. Oh, and there's the rain. I knew it. I, I knew it. I knew it. As soon, I was like, okay, let's end the episode before something goes wrong. And as soon as I do that, what happens? I knew it. Should have ended it. Should have ended it a minute ago. Well, now we're gonna be on a nice cliffhanger. We're gonna check out this raid next time. Everybody, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Uh, I I think things are looking up, but we'll have to see what happens at the end of this raid. So, um, thank you again, friends, and I'll see you next time.